but thank you to those who love me and support me and know my morals and my intentions and what I would and wouldn't do and all that kind of stuff. There were like 50 things wrong with what Tana Mungu just said in that 15 second clip and we're about to talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And my channel is all about mental health and I'm trying to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So sometimes what I like to do is take things going on in the community and take those and use those as lessons so I can help you kind of assess your life and see if there's areas where you can improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick plug, in case you missed the announcement, I am now over on Twitch. Please, please, please go follow me on there. I did like a two hour live stream today and it helps me interact with all of you. And I had a great conversation today helping somebody out with some of their mental health issues. So go follow me because while I'm still small, we get some one-on-one -on -one time, baby, and we could talk about stuff. But anyways, I am really worked up right now. I was in the middle of editing a different video and my girlfriend sent me some tweets and some Instagram stories from Tana Mojo and I'm like, okay, we're talking about this now. All right, so like the title of this video said, Tana Mongu is in denial, all right? And this is important, like, I, I get it, okay? Let me talk about my personal experience. I was in denial for so long. I played the victim for so long. Why is everybody so mean to me? Why is everybody out to get me? Why, why, why? I just don't understand it. Why can't people just be nice to Chris? And it's because I completely, completely lacked self-awareness. And this is Tana's biggest problem. So I've been waiting to kind of put together a lot of information and do a video about like, has Tana Mojo like changed since TanaCon? And the answer is no, but like this got me so riled up that I needed to make a video about it right now. But this is something that you might be struggling with. Like you might not realize why people don't like you. This can be your friends, this can be your family. You might not understand why, why people are cutting you out of their lives. So this is why self-awareness is so, so, so important for everybody. Because until I started to see all the harm I was doing to others and putting out into this world, I was never going to improve my mental health. Like I was sitting in this ignorance that was destroying me mentally. And it made me play the victim. It made me throw a pity party. It made me angry, upset, resentful, all these negative emotions. So just by repairing that part of my life, my life has gotten better. So, you might be wondering what the heck is going on. All right, so supposedly Tana is making a video talking about all this stuff, but from what I gather, she had some insensitive tweets that she had on a different account. That account is no longer around. She, she said a lot of stuff on Twitter um, today trying to justify it and stuff like that, or not justify it, but make, I don't, yeah, make excuses. That's what I'm gonna say, all right? And like, it's terrible, like she plays such a victim and we have to stop doing that. We have to quit playing a victim. Like you are not taking responsibility when you are playing the victim. So this tweet right here, let me just read one of these tweets. So she says, there's nothing else I can do to make people not cancel me or hate me or assume I'm never gonna make a uh, mistake again. I'm a human. Just because I have followers doesn't make me any different or perfect. I am truly sorry for the things I did uh, do and say if they upset anyone. Like, just in that tweet alone, there's a million things wrong. Okay, so, first off, like, okay, by the way, if I, I forgot to put this disclaimer at the beginning, but any of you children out there, like there's gonna be some swearing in this video, all right? So Tana's current Twitter handle is fuck up because she wrote a song, she made a song, I don't know if she wrote it, she made a song called fuck up. And the entire song is about how she is a fuck up, all right? So like, like okay, so something that we should all do is look at different aspects of ourselves and know when to lean into them, okay? like. I'm a fat guy, 
Okay, cool, I kind of lean into that. While I'm trying to work on my weight and things like that, I'm not in denial about it, you know, but those are things I'm trying to improve. But then there's like certain things where like, you know you're a fuck up, don't lean into it even more and write a whole song about it. Like, Tana has done absolutely nothing to show us that she is improving as a human being, all right? And like, this is the, such a cop out right here. And she says this constantly, I screwed up, I'm a human. Like what, I was talking to my girlfriend and her best friend Shelby in our group text, I'm like, this is such a cop-out. Like, could you imagine if a, a lawyer, a lawyer, their only defense when like trying to like uh, defend like somebody accused of murder, just saying, hey, they're only human, they're gonna screw up. Like, that's not a good excuse. Like, you guys, we gotta get rid of that excuse. Oh, I'm a human, I screw up. Like, there's a balance that comes with all of this stuff, okay? Like. Yes, you're never gonna be perfect. You are never gonna be perfect, but that doesn't mean you can't work on certain areas of your life. Like we all make mistakes, that's cool. But you don't just keep doing them and just say, well, I'm only human, I'm only human. Because people are gonna look at you and be like, that person sucks. You know what I mean? Like. In Tana's mind, I assume that she's thinking like, oh, well, this is valid. I'm just always gonna screw up and stuff. Like, no, no, you need to be a better person. All right, so now let's go back to her Instagram story and let's break it down. Hello world, I have been off of Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that for the most part for obvious reasons, but I woke up today to a bunch of tweets and a bunch of hate and a bunch of stuff I just didn't do or say and I think that I need to explain everything. First off, I feel bad going hard on Tana, like she just lost Mac Miller, but I feel, I feel kind of like I don't know, like I'm very empathetic, sometimes too empathetic, because I made my video about like, yo, chill out on Tana, let her grieve. But she just did the No Jumper podcast yesterday. I haven't watched it yet, but um, word on the street is she talks about Mac Miller and their relationship and stuff. And like, this girl is just one bad decision after the last. Like, when everybody assumes that you're just bringing this Mac Miller stuff out to light because you know, you're trying to get attention and then you jump onto a podcast to talk about it? Like, girl, like, oh my God. I don't know who her manager is. I don't know if she has PR, but like, holy crap, make better decisions. Um, but anyways, let's go on. You no, know, I say this 24 seven, I swear to God, I'm gonna make a movie about it, but like people put people on these pedestals with a bunch of followers and they expect you to never make mistakes and it's just, I don't wanna be that. I'm always gonna make mistakes, I'm always gonna fuck up. But if you follow me and like- Okay, here's another issue with Tana Mojo, okay? She, she tries to act like she's trying to be a better person, and she's not, because she's also in conflict with her own self, okay? Because she always says this, don't put me on a pedestal just because I have followers and subscribers and da 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 da. And this is one of the issues with YouTube culture. It's even the issue with, you know, just uh, celebrity culture in general. Like, there's not like a training course. Like, listen, here's gonna be some fame, here's gonna be some money, right? But along with that, you're gonna be influencing a lot of people. Like, that is part of the package. That is part of the package. So what she's doing by constantly doing this is, you know, she's making an excuse for herself to keep screwing up over and over. Don't put me on a pedestal. I'm just a human. I'm just a human. And like, I get it. I get it. People are going to screw up. People are gonna mess up. I get it. People are human, and I know this sounds contradictory, but it's important to not use that as an excuse to keep being a bad person. Like, I'm going to dive more into how it, there is just solid evidence that Tana Mojo has not changed or learned anything from the TanaCon situation. And love me and know me, you also know my character and my morals and what I stand for, and I stand for, I like to think what is right in this world. And I know I make mistakes, but all I can do is own up to them or if people are throwing bullshit my way, fucking dodge the accusations and that's what we're gonna do, so. Okay, 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 okay. So like, I'm not a huge Tana Mojo fan. Like, I don't watch all her videos or anything like that. But here's something that I see people do a lot. And this is where, this is where you gotta take this situation and ask yourself if you're doing the same thing. Like, you know what I'm stand for. You know I'm a good person. You know my morals. Like, what? What? I made a video that I'm linking up in the info card and it didn't get that many views because I didn't put like a famous YouTuber's uh, name in it, right? And I get that, I get that's how it works here on YouTube, but you need to go watch it. I talk about how your actions speak louder than words. Like she's like, you know my morals, you know my character. No, we don't. Like, what do you do? 
Like, what do you do? Like, I made a video a long time ago that got me a little bit of flack, and it was called Bare Minimum Parenting, right? Like, people think that just because you're a mom or your dad, like, you should get a trophy, and it's like, just because you, like, feed them and provide them with a house, like, that's the bare minimum. That is literally the bare minimum. And, like, in somebody like Tana's mind, or a lot of our minds, we're like, well, I don't, like, rob banks and I don't murder anybody, so, like, you know I'm a good person, like, what? Like, that doesn't make you a good person just because you're not doing those things. But for everybody coming at me asking me a million questions, I think I'm at the point where I'm just gonna answer them in like a demonetized, bland-ass YouTube video and get it over with because that's all you fucking can do in this space. But if you've been following me for a while and you know my character and you see something that's just outlandish, like... So by the way, this is a, this is a YouTuber trick to manipulate you. Okay, in the, in the famous words of like Bobby Burns, this is to manipulate you, okay? Where, and I was telling my girlfriend about this, like she always says like, you know what, I'm just gonna make this YouTube video, I'm just gonna be honest, and, and, and it's gonna get demonetized, but that's just because I care about you, like, no, that, that's, that's a trick. A, because YouTube doesn't automatically demonetize people just because you're cussing, and B, YouTube ad revenue is the least amount of money that she is making. All right, she, she has other revenue sources. So something that they say to try to manipulate you into thinking they're being 100% real and honest is by telling you that, oh, this video is gonna get demonetized. So yeah, I'll, I'm just being real. Like, no, because they don't care that much about it and there's still a possibility that they'll still get ad re revenue from it. So yeah, I think today is a combination of me making some mistakes and needing to own up and apologize but also the world spreading a lot of fucking lies about me and people really being out to get me. And I just, I want to explain it all in a video and apologize for- And just real quick, that this is her, you know, the world's out to get me. Like, when you wake up in the morning, like, I used to struggle with this. I used to wake up and I literally thought that everybody in the world woke up, they're like, oh, man, oh, how am I gonna screw Chris over today? Like, talk about being self-centered. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna go back to resting and working and kind of being off the grid because I just have not been in the right headspace to be in this toxic media world. But thank you to those who love me and support me and know my morals and my intentions and what I would and wouldn't do and all that kind of stuff. So there we go again, okay? So she ends it with, those of you who know my morals and my intentions and my character, like, like, I don't know if I'm missing something, okay? Again, your actions speak louder than words. Like, I don't remember like Tana just saying like, hey, I just raised a bunch of money for, you know, cancer research, or I donated a bunch of money to this organization or this nonprofit. Like, am I, am I missing something? Am I missing something? Like, you can't just run around saying like, you know my morals and characters. Like, what are you doing? Like, what does Tana do? And especially, it's like, yeah, girl, I do know your morals and your character. Like, in her last video that she made, I watched like the first 10, 15 minutes before I was just like, I, I can't handle her that long, right? But like, within the span of I think five or 10 minutes, she acknowledges that she has a very young audience, okay? Like under the age of 15, under the age of 14, she has a very young audience. She acknowledges that, and then she goes on to light up a joint in front of, like, yeah. We do know your morals. We do know your character. We do know. And one of them is, is that you do not care at all, Tana. You don't. So like, I'm, I'm very heated right now, and in my next video, you'll kind of understand why. I'm either gonna upload it tonight or in the morning. But like, I, wa I really, really want you guys to understand this. Like, you can't run around in this denial and lacking self-awareness. Like, the best thing I ever did was just write down on paper, like, all of, all of my issues, all of the bad things that I do, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not nearly as good of a person as I thought I was. You know, like, that is so freeing, it is so liberating. I work hard every single day to be a decent person, and I know, I know that my actions speak louder than my words. I can't just come out here and feed you, my audience, this, these lies like, oh yeah, I'm just a good person. No, I try to show you. I don't need to tell you I am because I try to show you. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Like, if you if you are a Tana Mojo fan, if for some reason Tana Mojo fans watch this video, please tell me the good things that she has done to define her good character.
I, I am just dying to know. All right, but that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you are all amazing. And don't forget to head over to the Rewired Soul shop right there. Me and you can be twins, get the same shirt. All right, thanks so much for watching. Actions speak louder than words. I'll see you next time.